Whoa. That is crazy. She's like right here. Yeah, right there. And then, but I feel it over here too. Oh my God. <laughs> you feeling that, right? I just saw your hand go up. She's like punching me. Okay, we are on the way. Jared finally gets to join us for an appointment because it's on the off day. We got beanies on today. The glucose drink was not bad. It doesn't even taste bad. I don't know what people are talking about. Like, it was so easy. I just chucked it. I mean, whatever. So, I got my timer going. Let's see. 38 minutes left until they can draw my blood. So, basically, you chuck the glucose drink, and whatever time you finish it, you start an hour timer. And they can't draw your blood until it's been in your system for an hour. And you're not allowed to eat or drink or anything. So, but we have a 25 week checkup. Basically, they are just gonna measure my belly, hear her heart rate, do my glucose test, which is most important. Yeah. We're slowly but surely getting into it, aren't we? Yep. But I bet you, you have to ask questions. One of them is gonna be about my colostrum, if I can start saving it. Traveling, baby moon, what day can I not travel until? I'll think of more questions, but those are like the main ones. Last time we were in the car together, going to an appointment, I was 12 weeks. Yeah, I guess so. How crazy. I had mascara all over my eye. Just got rid of it, don't come for me. What? No, never. You guys will never know her name until she's born. I forgot to do a little, a little fit check. I'm wearing this coat from We Wore What. It's super cozy. And then these beanies are amazing. I got them from Los Angeles Apparel. Got one from Jarrett too. And you can get them in every single color and they don't have like a brand name on them, which is honestly like better in our opinion. Don't you like that? Because then, like it does, like it just goes with the outfits. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to worry about what color the logo is. They're just plain. So we love them. Do you love yours? I love it. So your last appointment was 12 weeks. What did we do then? Well, we got to see her. We did an ultrasound at 12 weeks, and we did an appointment. Oh, then that's when you did the blood test for the gender. For the gender. And all the other stuff. It's a girl. What would you say I'm craving right now? Craving recent moods and um, something new. Go. She kicked. She kicks a ton. Um, my cravings. I feel like I'm craving spaghetti lately. Oh, yeah. Specifically pasta. pasta. Any type of pasta, I feel like. My overall mood lately. Go. Uh, pretty happy. I would say happy, too. <laughs> You're being judged on your uh, parking. How Ooh. am I over there? Let me see. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Let me see. I can't see. You can't see the line? Oh, I just got to straighten up. Yeah, you got to straighten up. All right, y'all. Let's go into our appointment. Up today. We're back. Appointment went great, right, babe? Yeah. I, I got, got my to, blood drawn. Got to hear my girl's heartbeat. Yeah, we got Strong to. Strong like her daddy's. They measured my belly. That was my first measurement. Did you realize that? And my uterus is at the top of my stomach. How crazy. So yeah, they measured my belly. Everything was measuring normal, but that has nothing to do with like her size or anything. It's just how my I'm carrying her. So that's good to know because I felt huge. <laughs> they want me to come in on 28 weeks because she was measuring ahead on the 20 week ultrasound. So now we just do these checkups now to make sure she's measuring normal. But I mean, she's measuring ahead. I'm fine with it. I don't care. Come early, honey. <laughs> so ultrasound on 28 weeks. We're going to try to schedule it to where he can come because that possibly will be in the middle of playoffs. And he hasn't gotten to see her since the 12 week appointments. So we have to have them there, ladies and gents. I get my glucose test tonight, so we'll update y'all on that. What else? We talked about traveling. We talked about, she told me she doesn't want me pumping because that can make my body think I am in labor which is honestly exactly what I thought. So I'm not gonna pump, but I probably will squeeze some into a little little glass bottle to save for when she gets here because she did say that that would be great because colostrum is liquid gold. We'll probably start doing that soon, and collecting it and saving it. Feeling like a scientist, I'll squeeze my boob and <laughs> make you put it in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> and now to treat ourselves, we are going to Chick-fil-A and we're gonna go see Ace, Parker, and Hunter's baby. Oh, baby's all around us. I'm so excited. I didn't bring his gift again. Gosh dang it. Let's see if they want coffee. Her heartbeat was 145, so uh, still yeah. kind of high. Let's go to Chick-fil-A. Let's go to Chick-Chick-Fil-A. 
Did you get a water too? No, it's Hunter's, babe. Oh, Please take I keep that. forgetting. I'm sorry. Y'all, if you don't know what a frosted coffee is, actually, if you watch the vlogs, you know, because I talked about this in the week of my life vlog. The best, the best. And I didn't have my Celsius today, so this is my caffeine for the day. It's mostly just sugar. I haven't gotten to eat because I had my glucose test. <gasps> you want to taste? Golly, that's good. I know, it's so good. Tastes more, uh... Every time I don't get one... I you regret it. But I love coffee, so... It is coffee. And Starbucks is right here. <laughs> I knew it was, too. I just... <laughs> you want to go get it? No, I don't want to wait in line anymore. My Chick-fil-A order? Well, honestly, it kind of switches off. What do you... It never switches for you. What do you say? Yes, I do. I sometimes get strips. I only get strips or I get a Chick-fil-A sandwich. But right, right now, with my carb craving, like, bad... Carb. I just want bread all the time. I got a sandwich and then I got large fries because mama needs her fries. Big and dog then, gotta eat. Then I got fruit cup because I'm healthy. Duh. God, my beanie is sideways. Woo! Okay, y'all, a few days later. And now it is New Year's Eve. So exciting. I cannot believe, believe this year is over. Like, where did the time go? Me and Jarrett kind of always do our little New Year's resolutions. And I hate saying that because, like, we should always have goals for ourselves during the year. But for some reason, when a new year starts and you're like, ooh, this really just gave me an extra kick. We really want to be intentional about that this year. Especially because it just feels like we've been in a standstill for two years. And, you know, we got to keep living, people. We got to keep going forward. And. And we're having a baby like we all know that so we have lots of goals and resolutions for this year that I'm excited to like sit down and be intentional about so I'll get Jared in here and a few to do that but first I wanted to do a little revolve clothing haul because I absolutely love revolve dressing the bump is getting harder and I just appreciate a place that has options for all shapes sizes maternity walks of life it's amazing so I'm gonna do a quick little haul because I'm also trying to pick out my outfit for tonight. I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet. We'll figure that out. So I'm gonna show you guys a few like bump friendly outfits and just in general outfits because I haven't like worn any maternity stuff yet. And so all of this like that I'm wearing, you can wear too, whether you're pregnant or not. Let me show you guys some options. I'll show you guys some New Year's Eve options and then we'll get into doing our resolutions before we go to dinner. Okay, so first up is this like sweater dress. It's so cute, green with these boots total statement. You can totally wear them with like tights to make it more wintry for my, you know, Northeast girls up here. Or you could do just as is for my Texas girls because we know that and everything in between this can go. But I love this. It's so cozy, so comfy and so flattering because it's just like a loose sweater dress. Like you can never go wrong. You can also belt it. I can't fit a belt on right now, obviously pregnant, but cold today. Like, this is so good. It is so comfortable. I cannot get over it. This dress is weekend stories, so they're known for their, like, quality. And let me tell y'all, like, usually dresses like this would, like, bunch or look weird. This is just so good. I love it. I cannot wait to wear it in winter and in summer. Maybe I'll wear this tonight. White on New Year's Eve? I think I can do that. Look at the details on this coat. The cuff detail. Black brown this is so amazing i have been eyeing this coat for so long and i realized i needed it it's perfect it fits around the bump even when i want to close it that is most important a high neck sweater dress is just a classic you can wear it up you can wear a dress down like i'm wearing you can wear these with pants tights this coat can be worn with like a sweatshirt hoodie dress it down I am obsessed with this. This is like unreal. I've been, I, I needed it. I needed it and I understand why now. It's such a statement. And if you live in the cold like I do, I can wear this all the time. And it has pockets. I love this outfit. I literally saw it on Revolve, like in on the mannequin and I was like, I'm just gonna buy that whole thing because this cardigan, this two piece set, it's pants and then like a little turtleneck top. Um, it's also cropped, so I'm sure you can wear it in the summer as well. And then I paired it with just some heels to dress it up, but you can wear this around the house. You can wear it to dinner. You can wear it wherever. It's, I feel like the lighting's kind of making it look wider than it is because it's just like cream. Like it's all taupe and cream. We love this. So cozy and comfortable. 
I cannot, I could fall asleep in this and never wake up. Okay y'all, this dress is it. So chic, look how cute. I also have this dress in taupe as well. I love it. It's such a tasteful like amount of mesh. So, look at that. Oh, I if I could live in this dress the rest of pregnancy, I would because it just feels so cozy. I can't gravitate away from this. It's just so cute. Okay, just finished my little revolve haul. Again, I will link everything for you guys. But now we are gonna do our New Year's resolutions. So we're I've gonna got take one and only one in my head right now because I haven't given this much thought. But we're gonna take five, we're gonna take five minutes because it's good just to have goals. took a few minutes and went over our resolutions and goals. We'll share a few. Wait, we didn't ask bro if he has any. Bro, do you have any? To be the best big brother ever. Yeah. Even though I don't know what's happening. Actually, your- Your goals are to lose weight. Your goals, <laughs> no, he's not big. Uh, your goals should be to stop barking all the time. <gasps> yeah, no barking. No walking while other people talking. Our obvious number one goal is to be the best mom and dad that we can be. Right, babe? No, literally ever. <laughs> ever. Best of all time. Best of all time. Goats over here. Okay. A lot of them have to do with that for sure. One of our personal goals is to buy a house. Yes, buy a home. Because we just want a home base. And now that we have a baby, it's not going to be us traveling all the time in the off season. We're going to have to settle down. Not settle down, just have a home base. We're house hunting, we're looking. Very excited for that. Where? In Texas. You already failed your New Year's resolution. <laughs> He's getting all out for tomorrow. <laughs> Another huge goal of ours is to cook more. Definitely. And on top of that, I want to learn how to smoke more things on my Traeger. Yes. Because I've never really known how to do stuff. I think in general, we just need to learn how to cook more. Not learn, but like just do it. Because it's just a home cooked meal is so much fun. And I love doing home cooked meals. It's just harder when it's just me eating because he won't come home in time for dinner. So I'm like, I don't want to just slave over myself. Another one of our goals is this kind of like goes for both of us. We feel, we both feel like we want to make a pact to not let our life slow down with a baby. I think that's a good goal to have because you can use kids as an excuse for a lot of things. And the people that I know that have kids still live their life and I aspire to be like that and not use her as a like reason to say no to things. So that's my goal is to not let life slow down with her when she gets here. Like one of the best advice that someone told us was you can do everything you're doing right now with a kid. It's just different and it's not bad different. It's not good different. It's just you gotta bring all the stuff, but it is even better whenever you get to do it. So another one is to get organized. I need to get way more organized. I had my whole closet organized yesterday and I'm gonna do a vlog on it. So y'all will get to see more finishing product, but organization, we need, we need to get. No, 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 don't throw me in there. So obviously after I give birth, I wanna have like a health goal just to like be happy and healthy with my body post baby. Like that's more like mental. Physical will come as long as the mental is there. That's what I always tell myself. So. Something else that I really want to work on is making sure I remind myself that I am not in control and that God is in control. That especially is going to be applied more whenever she gets here as well. So yeah, just letting God control more and reminding myself and getting more into the word for sure. Um, and then we also have some personal dreams. Like I would love to start working on um, a secret project. And Jared has obviously some football stuff that he is his Aspiring goals. To do. Yes. And I think it's just good to have tangible goals in your head or even dreams that you're like reaching for because then you can come back and look at it and be like, is that still my dream in a few months? Is that still my dream? Or is that just what I said in December to get me to 2022? That is just a few of our New Year's resolutions slash goals. And I hope you guys enjoyed this really random video. I will see y'all next year. 2022 coming at you. Stidham party of four. Four because of bro. Because of bro. Okay, y'all. I'll see you in the next vlog.